the groom. You know our rules about grooms. Yes, but I know there's always exceptions in a lot of rules. When the bride comes out and she has got a spotlight on her. My name is Aterika Rooks and I am 33 years old. Only where I want to slap chances. But he's really good at telling me. Follow me. I think we all have someone in our life. Number three, Groomzilla. Lori and Monty knew that they had a brand new client waiting to meet them and benefit from the pearls of wisdom they had gathered through their long lives. But what they found when this hopeful bride showed up at their salon was an accident waiting to happen. Lori is not too fond of having a groom breathing down her neck as she tries to cater to the needs and joys of a hopeful bride. She has learned through bitter experience that grooms who bother to show up with the bride bring a baggage of behaviors along which make for a festival of emotional outbursts. Monique Lee is 35 from Brooklyn, New York, and she has brought along her groom-to-be Daniel for her dress picking. I brought my bridesmaids, Tiffany, my matron of honor, Robin, Jenea. Who is this? And I brought Daniel, the groom. You know our rules about grooms. Yes, but I know there's always exceptions in a lot of rules. We are looking for the dress. My name is uh, Daniel Felix to prepare for the big show. This is an unusual couple and the first thing which stops Robin mid-springy step and freezes the smile on her face is the bride's concession that the groom is going to be doing the choosing. But fear not, this team of super stylists knows how to do their job and a teeny tiny thing like a groom with a bad attitude is not going to stop them from doing it. Poor Daniel is a bit double-minded since he wants beautiful classy but is confessing to having a penchant for going over the top. Flash and class can clash big time, but it's Daniel at the drawing board and what he says goes. Daniel has the unfaltering belief that his Monique is going to bend at the knee and take his choice like a man. But the first dress she is sporting has her subdued and not sure of how she is feeling being in it. But before she can speak her mind, Monty has said what her heart is saying, but her lips are not speaking. He brought me. He brought you? <laughs> it's just not my thing. What if you hate it though? Our goal today is to get Daniel to say yes to a dress. I want to see Monique in fancy, net, sexy, classy, red carpet dress that makes her look like the queen to be. Look like the queen to be. The second dress nearly has poor Monique in tears as her spirit is getting doused by the reality that perfect Daniel is not so perfect when it comes to his taste in bridal dresses. But is she going to take the bull by the horns? A defeated Monique has slouched her way into this changing room, but a victorious warrior is marching proudly out of it, having beaten the demon of her own uncertainties into the ground. The dress she has finally found the courage to try on has also found a place in her heart and she's willing to kick out her sidekick if required. Meanwhile, in another room, stylist Cindy is looking after the dressing needs of the bride-to-be Stephanie from Birmingham, Alabama. This bride is looking for a beautiful piece which can do justice to her ample curves. Cindy is wasting no time and has her kitted out in a sparkly beauty with high hopes, but those are dashed the second she spots Stephanie trying to hold in her laughter. She always agreed with me. Looks sophisticated. The dress is simple. It's got a little bit of flash. Very pretty. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I'll say. It really doesn't matter, you're not picking it out. <laughs> don't like the fabric. I don't like the bottom. It's not really showing her body curves. That bad, huh? Daniel doesn't love it. Do you love it? Daniel? This dress does not get Dan's approval on D-Day. Poor Cindy doesn't know it is just the beginning of a long, long journey with Stephanie finding one fault after another with every pick brought to her. Finally, dress number five is bringing hope in its wake as it elicits the first smile from the picky bride. But this hope is dying a quick death under the reserved frowns of her entourage. This poor bride had been looking for Annalise's opinion, but what she found was a deluge of negativity coming her way from the entire party. This dress is a big no-no and it's back to the drawing board once again. But Stephanie has some other plans as she is stretching determinedly out of the salon, hoping to find her dream dress on her next trip. But in Monique's corner, this bride has found the dress, which has walked its way into a niche in her heart. Now she only has to convince hubby-to-be to fight in her corner of the ring instead of against her. Daniel is a product of many years of getting what he wants from Monique and he is not about to bend over and take it like a new man. So he is lovingly being escorted out of the premises while the girls and Monty get down to business. Problem solved. He's not liking anything. 
At that point, I started to get very concerned. If we don't start hearing what the bride wants. Any of the dress they have for me mm -hmm. is not the dress that's going to work the best for. But you gave them that power. Okay. Thank you. That's the reaction we've been waiting for all day. I'm definitely having a moment. What do you think the fiance is going to say? Maybe we have to remove him from the Power. See what the power can do. Number two, beauty knows her mind. Eterica Bucks is a 33-year-old buxom beauty who has traveled all the way from Louisiana for the expert services at Lori's Bridals. The best of the best from Lori's team of stylists, Robin is going to cater to her needs, which she does with great aplomb. But this time, she is in double trouble as she has to deal with the histrionics of her fiancé, Jay, in tow. Now, Lori has her rules in place for a reason, but these brides only play by the rules of the men in their lives. We've had a lot of brides in that are having body issues. Every insecurity that she has will come out. Most. When the bride comes out and she has got a spotlight on her. My name is Eterica Rooks, and I am 33 years old. Who's the bride here? <laughs> that will be oh. me. I am looking for that perfect wedding dress for my awesome day. Eterica has a big heart and wants to do good by her fiancé by giving up her driving seat in her car to him. But she doesn't know what she's getting into and Lori is looking at a wreck about to happen. But sometimes wisdom has to be earned the hard way and some hard lessons are the only way to get it. Eterica is looking for a princessy ball gown with dreams of Princess D except herself starring in it. Dress number one is right in line with her ideals and it ticks all the boxes on the list of her fantasies and her family is right by her side with its unfiltered support. Anybody who knows Lori knows that she does not allow foxes in the hen house. To be honest, kind of wish she wasn't here. What kind of dress are you looking for today? Ball gown dress. Okay. Princessy. You're thinking Princess Diana style. Yes. <laughs> but the words coming out of Jay's mouth are a mic drop moment and the bride's mom's about to turn is representative of all of our feelings. While Eterica has marched resolutely back to the changing room, Jay is busy finding the pieces in line with his fantasies for Eterica and her family is occupying itself with sending positive energy and prayers Jay's way. Eterica is a superstar and her spirits are shining bright, not about to dim under the weight of her family's disapproval. Eterica knows exactly what she wants, and that's exactly what she'll get. I am a plus size sister, and I am very confident in who I am. Oh, God, yes. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that is beautiful. These are what I was telling you. They're, how do you feel? She knows she is going to bring life to any dress she puts on. Robin is caught in a tough situation, with both bride and bride's groom pulling her in opposite directions. They have reached an impasse, and this silent battle is about to get its first casualty, which just might be Robin. Robin is bringing in the big guns as she is putting on her couple's counseling cap, and in no time, she has Jay buckling under her expert coaxing. Atarika has come out the winner in this silent tussle, and Robin has another medal added to her breast, a glaring testament to her expertise. Do you love that? I love oh, this. Yes. This is it. We are through. I like the high waist and simple Less. and classic. And How do you feel about if the other one is the one she loves? I want her to be happy. Okay. I want her to be happy. She looks happy, and that's what matters the most to me. Number one, sidekick trouble. 25-year-old Tanisha Dennis from Dakota, Georgia, has walked happily through the awe-inspiring doors of the salon with her small posse. The day seems to have started pretty well, but none of them have an idea of the train wreck about to happen. Her friend Chances might be the only male companion she has dragged kicking and screaming into the salon, but he's throwing a hissy fit for a spoiled 16-year-old daddy's little girl who didn't get what she wanted on her sweet 16. But Chances might not be the one at fault here since Tamisha is driving for a Guinness record in the amount of bridal dresses she has gone through. My name is Tamisha Dennis. I'm 25 years old and I live in Decatur, Georgia. Hey. Who's my bride? That's me. Hey. And my friend Chances. I haven't really found anything that screams Tamisha yet. She don't know? Through in her search for the perfect one. Chances has summed up the problem in one sentence and this poor stylist knows she has her job cut out for her. All is not well in paradise, as Chances might be the one with a problem instead of a picky bride. Only time will tell. Chances is determined to find this bride strutting down the aisle in a dress he has dreamt about and no amount of humming and hawing is about to change his goal for him.
Chances is in the habit of speaking above the bride's head, and it's drowning her timid little voice out. Lori has started a slow simmer with the light Frances has lighted under her, and it's only a matter of time before this misbehaved male diva meets his fate under the roof of her salon. It's how she feel in the dress. I personally don't care if she's happy. Moment where I want to slap Chances, but he's really good at telling me. Follow me. I think we all have someone in our lives who we love that makes us crazy. Like picking out your wedding dress, you would never want to do it without them. Chances might be in love with the sight of his own pick for this bride, but his high spirit is about to take a nosedive under the weight of the opposition it has slammed into. Though the tears falling from his eyes were a thing of beauty as he was trying to live vicariously through his buddy, his solo flight has crashed landed soon after takeoff. The second dress is Monty's pick for this beautiful bride, and it is doing justice so spectacularly that it's left the bride without breath. Its perfect stitching has cinched in her tiny waist even further. While a flowy skirt falls to the ground in gentle, elegant slopes, this bride is feeling beautiful in this beautiful creation and everyone agrees with her summation. But naturally, Jay has to poop on this bride's party. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and has forced her to march back to the changing room once again. The proof is in the pudding, and now everyone knows why this bride has been unable to find her dream dress. She's actually looking for Jay's dream dress, but she didn't get that memo. Dress number three has taken the same destination as the other dresses into the dustbin. Jay's little toddler stunt has plunged this bride's spirit into an abyss, and this appointment is about to go down the drain fast. But hold on, Chances didn't figure that he had bigger boots to fill in this fight since Monty is standing beside this bride playing outside chick, a role previously given to Chances. This is a hostile takeover and Chances has been bought out by a bigger fish in the pond and this little minnow is about to get eaten by the shark it has messed with. In, in total awe of my best friend. Oh. Seeing her with the complete package. She looks like a bride. I'm the package. She looks like a bride. I'm. That's all we have for you, folks. Join us next time.